Here we go, the 10 moves to blast those abs with this thing. <laughs> What's going on, Coach Brian right here with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for jumping onto our channel today and watching this incredible video that's gonna blow your mind. It's the 10 ab blasting moves using a stability ball. No particular order, yeah, see this thing right here? This thing has a world of fun all in it, around it, on it, you name it, this does it. You can do weird things with it, other video. But this video, all abs using this thing. So. This is a great exercise uh, tool to use. If you're not using it, you're missing out. It's okay if it might, some of these moves might be a little awkward. It's fine, you're making some things happening to your body. So the first one, again in no particular order, a lot of these are gonna be in a static position, maybe throwing a little bit of movement. Elbow plank, nothing fancy about this. Elbows right here. This is an awesome place to start at. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone back. Don't drop your hips down. This doesn't really do anything. I mean, you can play some video games in this position right here. I mean, you can read a book. That does nothing. Once you get those hips up, that's when that midsection is engaged. All right, so sticking with the elbow plank, flip things around. Feet go on the ball, elbows go on the ground, right here. So it's kind of like a incline elbow plank. Tuck the tailbone back, elbows are probably gonna be a little bit behind the shoulders, just so you can stabilize. The further out you go right here, yeah, that's a lot more challenging. So start here, and then work your way out. All right. So you go back to the ball, you wanna mix it up a little bit more, maybe you just don't like how that feels. Try a hand plank on for size and see how you, how you like that. This one, hands on the side, squeeze in so you maintain balance. So you're really gonna have your hands right under your shoulders here. If this is too challenging, you feel yourself wobbling all over the place, spread the feet, nice wide stance. The wider you go, the more stable you become. Look at that, solid right there, rock solid, perfect. And then for the fourth exercise in this 10 exercise sequence or series, whatever you're gonna call it, right here. This is a little harder than being on the hands, having the hands on the ball. Tuck that tailbone in, don't let those hips drop. Keep your chin tucked in. Yeah, hold that for time. You can hold it for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, two hours, whatever you wanna do. Now I'm just playing. But 15 seconds, 30 seconds, you're gonna be feeling pretty good with that. All right, so now let's integrate some movements. Back into that position, I was just there, but before I get there, come here, I wanna tell you something. All of this is not gonna do anything if you don't do anything with it. You gotta put this to the test, try it out, and I wanna help you by giving you a free five minute workout you can download right now. It's, it's free, so all you need to do is go under this video, click the link that's pinned in the comment section, download the workout, and then do it. You got that, you gotta do it in order to get those abs that you want. So, moving right along. Knee tuck, plank knee tuck. So, high plank position here position we were just in, tuck those knees in, extend back out. Keep the hips up. All the movement is from the waist down, nice and controlled. Now this one you're gonna hold, not hold, you're gonna perform anywhere from 10, 15, 20 reps. If you really wanna gas it, knock yourself out into complete failure, feel that midsection just lock up and uh, yeah. That's that exercise, great exercise. Go slow, maintain control, and just have fun doing that. All right, so, yeah, I wanna actually warm you out a little bit. So, before I get into the next one, I'm gonna catch my breath here for a second. And then I'm gonna get set up for the pike knee tuck, pike tuck, whatever you wanna call it. The pike is just another fancy word for getting the butt up, putting the, heel, uh, the butt back down. So, again, same position I was just in, making a lot more work for myself here. So, instead of doing the knee tuck, we're gonna bend at the waist, right there, back out slow. It's okay if the, you roll up onto the ball or the toes of the foot, back down. Yeah, that was a good one, I like that one. 
It's a great exercise. Really focuses all of your efforts and your attention on that midsection, really trying to figure out body positioning and trying to maintain that stable core. Bust out plank, this one's a little bit more friendly, family friendly. Elbow is back on the ball. Now what you're gonna do, like a saw, a buzz saw, if you've never seen a buzz saw, this is probably what it might look like. Out, in. Right there. Do this for high reps. You go fast, but I find the slower you go, the more you feel it. Now, if you wanna play games, let's go back to elementary school where we learn the alphabet. This is something fun that I enjoy putting kids, uh, some youth through, get a whole bunch of stability balls lined up and tell them to write out the alphabet using nothing but their elbows. So it would look like something like this. A, B, C, D, E. You get the idea. The entire alphabet, you can have them spell their names. Hopefully it's not like a, a short name like Al, John, I don't know if that's a real name, but if it is, John, John, I don't know. But phone numbers, names, I don't care. Just have them do something creative. So this is changing up the position of the exercise the entire time. It's fun. It gets you thinking outside the box a little bit. And uh, yeah. All right, we can't forget about these muscles on the side, those obliques. They're still part of your abs. So back to the knee tuck. This time you're gonna go side to side. Pull the knee in, twist, drive that knee to the elbow, extend back out. Opposite side. This one requires a lot of concentration. The faster you go, the easier it is to lose control. Yeah, there we go. Now if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Also click with that notification bell, but not only that, if you wanna search for something on our channel, stability ball, BOSU ball, suspension strap, med ball, you name it, we've got a video on it. On our channel, after you subscribe, there's a little tiny magnifying glass. Click that, that's gonna open up a search bar, type in whatever you want, and we're gonna have a video on it. So last exercise, T-spine, T-twist, whatever you wanna call it. So you're gonna go into this position right here, hips go up, squeeze those glutes, get, on, get the weight on the heels, hands together. Now this one, if you've never done it, I want you to start with a wider base with your feet. Take your hands together, you're gonna twist until your arms are parallel with the floor, return back to neutral, and alternate. Take your time. Head goes where the hands go. You might feel one side a little more restricted than the other. Just work through it. Take your time. Again, you're going to start integrating more rotation with that particular movement. So that's it. Ten moves using a stability ball to blast those abs. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you get that free gift that I talked to you earlier about in this video. It's a five minute core workout. Underneath this video, there's the link that's pinned in the comment section. Click that, download that workout, and then put it to work. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Leave us a comment or question, share this video with somebody you know, give it a thumbs up, and that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Coach Brian, Critical Bench. See you next time. With this thing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it